Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the uh, four C notes on the converse of the Pythagoras' rule. <clears throat> All right, at the end of this, you should be able to use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to show uh, whether a triangle is a right triangle or not. So, uh, first thing we're going to take a look at is what the converse of Pythagoras' Pythagoras's rule is. Okay, so here that is, and it's basically just the same thing as the Pythagorean theorem, um, but it's working the opposite direction, meaning that, so it, let's say if you have a triangle and it gives you all three sides, then you use Pythagorean, the, the Pythagorean theorem to check and see if it is a right triangle. So if you have the three lengths, plug it into a squared plus b squared and make sure that it equals c squared, and if so, then that means that it's a right triangle. All right. So let's take a look at an example. Okay. Example 10 from page 93 says, is a triangle with sides 6, 8, and 5 centimeters right angled? So again, all we're going to need all we're going to need to do is just plug that into uh, Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right? So <clears throat> excuse me, so for the important thing on this here is that you always want to choose the largest side to be your c squared. Okay, and then the other two are just your a squared and your b squared. So let's do 6 squared plus 5 squared equals 8 squared. And let's see if this is true. So that's 36, 25, does that equal 64? So if we add those together, we get. 61. 61 does not equal 64, so therefore it is not a right triangle. All right. So um, that's really all there is for that. If it happened to have been equal, then that means it is a right angle. If it's not equal, then it's not a right angle in there, so it's not a right triangle. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.